Alright, this is going to be a tutorial on how to download library ebooks to your Barnes & Noble Nook. And there's a variety of ways to do this, but in this tutorial we're going to go over one of the easiest ways to do it. So it should be easy for a beginner or anyone with a new Nook to get their materials on their Nook successfully. So be sure to follow these steps and pause and play during this tutorial to keep up with the steps taken. So for this demonstration, we're going to be using the 2 gig Wi-Fi Barnes & Noble Nook, which looks just like this. Now this tutorial will work with many other e-readers, but Nook is what we're going to be using as the example. Alright, so your first step is going to be opening up an internet browser. I'll be using Internet Explorer. We're then going to go to reads.lib.overdrive.com. This is where we're actually going to get the electronic material to place on the Nook. Once reaching the website, we're going to sign in to the website in the upper right hand corner where it says sign in. Now choose the region in which your library card is located. So here we're at the Obion County Public Library in Obion County. And lastly, type in your library barcode. This should be found on the back of your library card. Okay, so now that we're signed in, we can see uh, our cart. Okay, so we see the cart is empty. So we're going to search for materials to place in our cart. This is the same as online shopping, any other type of website where you, you would acquire things. You'll follow basically the same steps. So basically what we're doing now is browsing for material that we would like to place on our Nook. And this is where some confusion can come in. Since we're using the Nook and we want ebooks, not necessarily audiobooks, we are going to be looking for a particular type of file along with a title in which we want to check out. So we can use a variety of different methods. I'm going to go into the children's section and look for a children's book. Now if you look closely you can see there are different file types underneath these items that are available to be checked out. What we're going to be looking for to place on our Nook or other e-reader would be an Adobe EPUB file or an Adobe PDF which looks similar to these. We want to be sure to select an item that is an EPUB file or a PDF. If we wanted to do an audiobook, we would look for an MP3. But in this tutorial, we're just going to be doing an electronic book. So now I found one and I'm going to select Next, I'm going to proceed to the checkout. Okay, up here in this, this upper area of the, of the screen, you can see that you can select how long in which you'll want to check this item out. These items will automatically expire from your Nook within the amount of time given. So if you choose 14 days, you'll be allowed that amount of items, that item, for those 14 days seven items will be checked out for seven days until they automatically expire. Now we're going to download and select desktop. Now that the file has been downloaded to the desktop, we're going to choose this other link that offers us the Adobe Digital Editions download area. Now what we're needing to do is download Adobe Digital Editions to our computer. Adobe Digital Editions is going to be the software that is going to move the file we just downloaded over to the Nook and download it to the Nook. Click install in the lower left area and install Adobe Digital Editions on your home computer. Okay, 
Okay, once Adobe Digital Editions is complete, you'll see a dialog box that looks similar to this. Alright, in the next box of the Setup Assistant, we see that we will be needing an Adobe ID to proceed any farther in the installation. Adobe IDs are free and should be set up before installing or connecting your Barnes & Noble Nook to your computer. So open up your Internet Explorer browser or other browser and visit adobe.com. Once at adobe.com, choose sign in in the upper right hand area. So now we're going to create a new Adobe ID. Enter the specified information that it requests at adobe.com and acquire your Adobe ID. Alright, so now that we've gotten our Adobe ID, we're going to proceed with the installation of Adobe Digital Editions. Enter your Adobe ID information, after entering your password, it's also a great time to be getting out your Barnes & Noble Nook and finding the white cable that came with your Barnes & Noble Nook. Plug this white cable into your Barnes & Noble Nook and into your PC. You should see a box that looks similar to this. We'll just close this box. Now that we know that the Nook has been connected to the computer, we can proceed with the installation and let the Setup Assistant recognize our computer and our Nook. Alright, so we've successfully installed Adobe Digital Editions, and we can see in the left hand corner that our Nook is connected with Adobe Digital Editions. Now we just need to download the materials that we selected and downloaded to the desktop earlier from the Reads website. Right click on that white file which we downloaded earlier and is on the desktop. Choose Open with Adobe Digital Editions. Now you should see Adobe begin to download the materials that you selected from the Reads website. The item has now successfully been downloaded to your computer. Take a few seconds to go ahead and thumb through a few of the pages and make sure that the item selected was the correct item in which you wish to download from the Reads website. Now choose in the up, upper left hand corner Library View. Select the item by clicking and holding down and dropping it over the Nook emblem on the left hand side. The Nook is now being loaded with the items selected and downloaded from the Reads website. If you look in the upper right hand corner of the item you can also see the amount of time remaining on that item. By clicking on the Nook we can see a variety of files that have been added to the Nook and also the item in which we've added to the Nook's memory. Now is a good time to safely disconnect your Nook and check your Nook to make sure that the items downloaded have been transferred successfully to the Nook.
So we see that Backyard Discoveries has been transferred to the Nook successfully via the Reads website using Adobe Digital Editions. If you follow these steps given in this tutorial, you'll have successful results as well. Thanks for watching.